Dowland was uh, a bit of an enigma. Some people think he was a melancholic. But this is fin de siècle stuff. It's around 1600. It's this a time when melancholy was, was a, a really artistically fashionable thing to explore. Everyone was really into melancholy. And Dowland's songs are incredibly moving. And, and despair is something you, you've, you cannot get rid of. And hope is something you must not even hope to get and you will not get any pity from anyone I mean it is it's as grim as it could possibly get and then it's got this amazing falling down 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 I fall arise I never shall and yet it is one of the favorite songs when people hear it they just say god that's a good song no help no hope the death remain but down down It's a ridiculous question, but from Hildegard of Bingen to, in the 12th century to Bach in the 18th century, would you, what would you say, if any, are the common features to the music you sing across those 600 years? I suppose it's words, actually. Yes, as far as Bach, it's definitely words, I think. What do you mean by that? Well, just that the text is, is supreme. The text is what matters more than anything. And the text is important because it's the word of God. I mean, that was their, that was their fundamental starting point. Associated with prayer. Yes, yeah. yes. I've got a sort of sense that some of my most devoted fans, I think of them a bit like wine buffs who really love the Beaujolais from a particular slope. You know, when everyone starts buying that Beaujolais, I think some of them will lose interest and they'll go and find something else. You know, I think there's that side of it as well. I think if I became a really household name, it would put some people off. So I'm very happy not to be. <laughs> Thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you. <laughs>